you guys have dominated for the most part all season long. How or why do you guys remain so focused? What What is the secret in the sauce? I think it's just the love for we have for each other. You know, it's it's a brotherhood, honestly, and um, we, we just make it fun and. Keeping keeping it fun is, is a big part of success, I feel like. And um, I've never been with a, a tighter knit group of guys than the, this group, so that's that's one of the keys to success, I feel like. You sound like a coach. Have you ever thought about coaching? <laughs> I mean, I, I thought about it, but that, that's far. That's way down. That's way down the line. Last question for you. You have battled through a lot in your time here. You're back in the field, standing here in uniform. Yeah. You're healthy. What does this moment mean to you? That's awesome. You know. This year's honestly been one of the toughest, toughest years dealing with you know two, two major injuries in, in the span of under a year and you know it, it's just awesome to be able to come back and, and be a part of this this run. It's it's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah. Thank you. I mean that. You guys hadn't played like this to this level yet. Could you give me a reason as to why? I think one, I mean, uh, uh, 605 Hogs, they felt disrespected all week. I mean, they kept on saying that was the best D-line in the country. And, I mean, our, D our offensive line gave, zero, gave up zero sacks. They played awesome today. Isaiah was running all over them. I think that was the biggest factor today. You have so many people asking for your autograph, your attention right now. To where you started at this place, to where you are now, what are you most proud of? Man, just my hard work and dedication, to be honest. Uh, I walked onto this program, and to be where I am right now is just a blessing. The blessing come true. What's up? Last question for you. One <laughs> return, a little bit of magic in there. What did you see in, in um, weaving through that traffic? So I wasn't going to return it at first, and then I saw it bounce, and I was hoping it was going to give me a good bounce again. I saw the long snap in front of me. I was like, hopefully I, hopefully I can make it miss. <laughs> Made a miss and just followed my blocks and went down the sideline and ended up scoring the touchdown. So. Congratulations. Appreciate you. Thank you. I'll have one more year, but the guys that you know are done after this year, uh, Zay, Mark, or not Mark, uh, Mason, Garrett, Savion, Jason, Isaiah, and the list goes on and on. Those guys, like the amount of work that they've put in, the amount of work we've all put in, like it's just so awesome for these, like to be here, to go back again. Um, hopefully, win another one. That's the plan, obviously. But yeah, no, it's it's amazing. Um, I love this team, love these guys. Um, program's great, so it's a great ass win. Looking up and I saw, you know, uh, Mr. McKnight and uh, Wes and, you know, just some of the guys from a couple years ago and like what we've built and like where we've come. And it's like, you just want to do it for those guys. So being able to go back to Frisco for back to back is, is uh, something very special. So, you know, there's, there's always ways to improve. You know, no one's, no one's invincible. Um, doesn't matter how good you are, how many, you know, how old you are as a team. No one's invincible. Anyone can lose. You know, you got to work to bring your A game. And this far in the playoffs, every team, you know, every team's they're give, they're giving their best shot. So, you know, just focusing on that, focusing on things we got to get better at, and then preparing to deliver our best shot too. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Love you, brother. Yes, sir. Fifty-nine, nothing. Absolute domination. How do you improve from here? Um. You, you really just got to go back to like the details, the small details, especially like going to the national championship, like that's going to matter, the small details. So when you look at here, it's like this might be minor things you can fix and stuff like that, even though we, to y'all it might look like we played a perfect game, but it's always something when we go back into the um, film room, it's something that we can fix. You guys won 59 nothing, almost a flawless performance. Was there anything you saw throughout the week that gave you an idea that something like this could be coming? Honestly, no. We... We knew a good team was coming in. Um, we knew we had to be on top of our game. Uh, we took advantage of the extra time we had a little bit because they played later than us and had a long flight home. So we had half a day to a day jump start. Uh, we took advantage of it. We got our bodies right. Um, we, ha we lit a fire under ourselves because we knew that this team was coming in. They're hot, um, Cinderella story type team. Um, we just didn't overlook them, and I think that's a big reason as to why uh, the outcome was what it was. Uh, that's what happens when you when you play every game like it could be your last. You know, um, good things will happen for you. Well said. All right, last question. I'm going to ask you about your quarterback. Mark has gotten better and better throughout the season, throughout his career. He has a chance to win their Walter Payton Award. What's it been like for you for the past really four years now playing beside Mark Gronowski? Um, it's cliche to say, but it's like a dream come true. You know, um, 
uh, superstar quarterback playing wide receiver. Uh, it's nothing more than that I've ever uh, wanted. Yeah, you can't ask for anything better than that. You know, um, basically all I got to do is get open and put my hands just right here. I know, I know the ball is coming right to me. Um, yeah, that's my brother. Uh, I love the guy to death. Um, we got one more to go, and uh, I think it's going to be a great game for the both of us and, and the rest of the team. So uh, let's do it. What I love to see the most is after the game, the energy that we bring, like to each each game and the energy post game. Everybody's so happy to, for each other's success. You know, it's a it's a real a real like bond, like family type bond. So that's probably what I'm most excited for. Something definitely felt a little different today. You know, going through warmups, uh, Rogers announcing the the starting lineups in the locker room. It just felt like the juice and the atmosphere. The guys were ready, and I could tell that it was going to be a butt kicking for sure. The scoreboard just proves that. This is your last game on this field, last time in this uniform. What is this like for you right now? Um, just reflecting, you know, it's been a hell of a ride, Tanner, to be honest with you. Um, people will tell you, you know, you got plenty of time in life, but take my word for it, you don't, because these six years went by way too dang fast. Um, but we're going to Frisco. We got one more game, uh, nothing to be too too emotional about right now other than just to be happy about the win and we're blessed to have a few weeks off to get the boys back and healthy. <laughs> How would you describe that effort from your group, your unit, the defense today? And it, it was a rel relentless because we didn't know what was going to happen. Like we got the score now but you had to give it your all because you truly never know if it could be your last game in the playoffs and like we just really everyone come together around the special group of seniors and really the special team. So it was all all out effort and it was uh, it was phenomenal, man. Everybody was humming to the ball, offense, defense, people making big blocks on special teams. Like it was it was sweet. So. Last question for you: What can you say about this coaching staff? And this coaching staff, I don't even know. They know how to find those under the radar guys and you know turn us to gems because. Like, not a lot of us were highly recruited coming out of high school and stuff, and they took a chance on us, and I feel like they see the potential in the players, you know, when they bring them here. So, you know, if you're ever feeling uh, overlooked or anything, this is a place to be, man. You can come be something special, be a part of something special, because this is continuing the dynasty that we started. So, Well said. Mic drop. Hey.